South Korean battery manufacturer LG Energy Solution announced a landmark battery supply contract on Wednesday. Uh, sources report that the batteries might be supplied to the U.S. tech giant Tesla. If you hate Tesla, there's a lot of people now that do. You're going to hate me by the end of this video. You're going to hate Tesla even more by the end of this video because once again, they have outsmarted the industry. And once again, bizarrely, everyone has just completely ignored what they did. They've got no idea what Tesla just did, even though the facts are so obvious. They're like right in front of our face. But these new batteries, and it's very clear, Tesla signed this deal. It's open. They meant to keep it secret. They tried to, but this deal has been signed. These new batteries are the best batteries that we know of on the market. They're new. They could end up being terrible, but from what we know from the specs, the tech specs, they are the best lithium-ion phosphate batteries the world has ever seen by a significant margin. Absolutely nobody has reported on this news about Tesla, about its new batteries, its new battery deal. Why the hell did Tesla basically cancel its tentative agreement with CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, and decide to use LG Chem or LG Energy Solutions lithium ion phosphate batteries instead. Why have they changed? Why this is a big decision, multi-billion dollar deal. There's a very good reason for it. And it comes down to the batteries themselves. The energy density of LG's new lithium ion phosphate batteries, well, put it this way, it's better than everyone else by a substantial margin. And this is well, this means basically the new lithium ion phosphate batteries that Tesla will be using will have far more range than anyone else. Um, anyone. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is not a video made up on some kind of speculation or rumor, but based on facts, based on actual reported information from what LG Energy has revealed uh, to the market. Now, why everybody has ignored this, I don't know. It's truly bizarre because it's big news. And think about it this way, right? If Tesla can use lithium-ion phosphate batteries in their car that provide 20% more range than its competitors, that's a, that's, a, that's a difference that is so big, it can't be overcome. Tesla already has cost advantages in terms of production speed, its production numbers. It can get batteries cheaper than everyone else because it orders so many of them. So... The difference is enormous. It's giving Tesla an enormous advantage. And everyone, everyone as usual is ignoring it. I don't understand it. I'm totally baffled. Why? Why is Tesla the only company that's actually recognized what LG is doing, actually recognized the technology they revealed a few months ago? No one else has done this. I, I'm why? Why? Now, I could be wrong here. General Motors do have a deal with LG for their LMR batteries, their lithium manganese rich batteries. General Motors must know about these new lithium-ion phosphate batteries with, that LG has. Maybe they're just being quiet about it. Maybe they're just keeping this quiet. So what am I talking about here? Well, the news is this. Tesla signed a multi-billion dollar deal, which was meant to be kept secret. It actually was. Uh, LG even said it was. With LG Energy Solutions. And the reason is, well... Tesla Rati and everyone, Electric, everyone says it's because they're trying to uh, avoid tariff pressure and domesticate its battery supply chain. So rather than getting lithium-ion phosphate batteries from Cadel in China and shipping them to the United States for their energy packs, the mega packs, uh, and rather than getting Cadel to build battery production lines, which was the plan, Tesla actually planned on this, they were going to get Cadel to come over, bring all the manufacturing facilities, bring them to the United States, put set them up in their Nevada factory, which is basically the space is all there for it, and start building these lithium-ion phosphate batteries. That's meant to happen this year. That's not happening because Tesla changed its mind, signed this $4.3 billion deal with LG Chem, which has been reported, but nobody's reported on why Tesla did this. Why did Tesla change its mind? Why did they? This is a big deal. I mean, Cato would not be happy. They'd be saying... Uh, hang on a minute. I thought we had a deal here. We do supply you with batteries in China. Um, we are probably your biggest partner. Uh, this is not, they wouldn't be happy, right? So 
Sources are saying Tesla is making this decision to avoid buying cells and parts from overseas as the Trump White House continues to use tariffs to prioritize domestic manufacturing. That's actually not correct because Tesla had already planned on doing this regardless, right? So Tesla had already planned on bringing in battery manufacturing facilities, um, basically all the stuff they needed, putting that in, in, in the United States, in their factory in Nevada, and then setting it up there. That was already in the, the pipeline. So this is nothing to do with Trump's tariffs because this was, yeah, sure, it's affected by Trump's tariffs, but Tesla had already made that decision before the tariffs. So this is actually, this is actually not about, it's actually about the batteries themselves. It's about the production of those batteries as well because here's the thing, setting that battery, those battery production lines up in the United States, it'll take a few months. However, LG Chem actually have, they actually are, now making lithium-ion phosphate batteries for the grid, they say for the grid. But I can tell you now these batteries uh, in particular that LG are making for Tesla are not for the grid. I, and when I tell you what a, the battery chemistry is, you'll understand why they're not for the grid. There's no question they're not for the grid. Now, there is a $1.4 billion investment by LG Chem uh, to produce lithium-ion phosphate batteries at a factory in the United States. The new lines will produce 16.5 gigawatt hours of lithium-ion phosphate battery cells per year. Of course, they'll then increase production next year. But the point is to say that um, these LFP batteries are going into production this year at LG Chem's factory in the United States. And that factory is located in Michigan, which is it's not ideal. I mean, obviously, um, they then have to ship the batteries from Michigan to Tesla in California or in Texas, but it still means true, no tariffs. However, the big key here is the change in the battery energy density themselves. And this energy density, I don't know why no one's reported on this. I can't find a single article from anyone, no one. Uh, Inside EVs, electric, no one has reported on this, which is truly baffling to me. But there's a few different technologies here that LG unveiled earlier this year, which we should have been paying attention to, and they are one, LG has unveiled a precursor-free cathode material for LFP batteries. Basically, this means the, the cost to make them is cheaper and it's also a bit more efficient. The material actually enhances both the production efficiency and the performance of LFP batteries. And LG Chem will become the first South Korean company to mass produce precursor-free cathode materials for lithium-ion phosphate batteries in line with the growing adoption of LFP. So that's the first advantage, but it's actually a much bigger one. LG Chem though did say, or LG Energy Solutions, they said that mass production of their lithium-ion phosphate batteries with cathode material without a precursor will begin uh, about now, about now in the US. Now LG's precursor free is considered a next generation technology for LFP batteries, says batteriesnews.com, which are increasingly in demand as EV makers seek to reduce production costs rather than relying solely on high nickel batteries. Speaking of nickel though, can you use nickel, nickel in lithium ion phosphate batteries or would you even want to? Well, turns out you can and yes, you would want to. Now, the cost of nickel has declined significantly, right? The cost of nickel was expected to go up. So therefore, companies were like, well, let's make lithium-ion phosphate, don't need nickel. But actually, the cost has gone down. So before I get onto the nickel issue, the precursor-free cathode material in these new LG batteries, which Tesla are going to use, enhances the performance of lithium-ion phosphate batteries, ensuring more stable operation at low temperatures compared to conventional LFP batteries, as in freezing cold temperatures. Perfect for Tesla cars being driven in Canada or Chicago or cold places where it's really cold, right? And in addition, it saves on industrial wastewater and carbon emissions. It's basically more efficient, faster, cheaper, and is better in cold temperatures. So that's one benefit. However, at Into Battery 2025, LG Chem showcased ultra high nickel cathodes with a nickel content exceeding 95%, high voltage mid nickel variants. This is the key battery we're talking about here mid nickel variants, high density lithium ion phosphate, and other types of lithium ion phosphate materials blended with nickel cobalt manganese. In other words, they have figured out 
how to blend NCM and LFP batteries together. Now, why would you even want to do this? Well, mid-nickel cathodes contain between 50 to 70% nickel. These batteries are about 10% cheaper than high nickel batteries, meaning NMC or NCM batteries, but they have 50% more energy density than LFP batteries, right? 50%. So even if these batteries cost you 10% more money to buy, which is approximately what they're going to cost Tesla, Tesla pays 10% more, but gets 50% more energy density. Now, this information is coming from batteriesnews.com. And these guys basically know batteries. This is all they talk about. And these guys are obsessed with batteries. This information is also coming directly from LG themselves. LG is aiming to mass produce mid-nickel lithium ion phosphate batteries this year. And coincidentally, Tesla signed a deal for these batteries. We will aggressively pursue the future battery materials market with next-gen technologies, including LG precursor-free cathodes and advanced components, said LG Chem. The company is ramping up LFP cathode material production in 2023 to announce the plan to build an LFP cathode materials plant in Morocco in partnership with China's Hayu Group unit Yushan. Now, its products, it says, will be supplied to LG Energy Solutions, Arizona-based plant. Arizona, which is not far from Texas, well, much closer than Detroit anyway, or Michigan, which the battery producer began constructing last year. So here's what's happening. Tesla is saying, you know what? We need cheaper batteries, but we don't want EVs that have less range. Customers want more range. How about we get a new LFP battery? Energy density is going to be about 230 watt hours per kilogram, which destroys everything in China. Don't get me wrong, guys. I, Chinese tech is amazing. But you've got to see reality when reality hits you in the face. And that is, these batteries clearly will provide far more range than lithium ion phosphate batteries currently available to Tesla, everything else. There is nothing else even near the stratosphere of these batteries. So add a bit of nickel, which coincidentally the cost has been coming down, to lithium ion phosphate batteries, discover a precursor that makes the batteries cheaper and more efficient and be able to operate better in cold temperatures, combine those technologies together, and Tesla, once again, is outfoxing the market. I'm sorry, but there's no other way to, to look at this. Even if you hate Tesla, you hate Elon Musk, I understand. You're going to be outraged. You're going to be furious. You're going to be ranting and raving. You're going to be unsubscribing. You're going to be saying, dislike, dislike, dislike. Hopefully, I can rate this video down so no one finds out that actually Tesla is, well, kind of outsmarted everyone. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.